Hi you guys, today I wanted to show you that I got the um, set number one from Dr. P.H. Martin's Hydrus Watercolors. Um, I'm really excited about these. I have heard nothing but wonderful things about them. So, I was just going to go ahead and do a little swatch of all the colors so that we can see what they are like. I understand that um, using a water brush is a great way to use them. So I'm going to give this a try with a water brush. Oh, I don't like this one though. Let me try this one. My tips are getting old on some of them. Oh, this has blue in it too. I don't know why. I think I had blue ink in there, so we won't use that one either. Let me try one of my new ones. This one will work. Okay, so we'll just start right here with the... What color is this? Quinacridone magenta. I'm not going to use the wells because I don't think I need to. Wow, that stuff is strong. Now I've wet my brush. I'm going to put a little more water on it. Wow, is this stuff strong. The pigment is unbelievable, hands down. Okay, the next one. Am I on frame? i got to make sure I'm on frame. Yeah, okay. The next one here is Deep Red Rose. It looks very similar to the other color. Eh, it's, I guess it is a little rosier. And this next one is Brilliant. Cad Red. This is set number one. Um, I think I said that, but they, they have three sets of the large bottles, and then the smaller ones um, you can also buy with the Hydrus watercolors. Got to be careful that they don't say India ink because they also sell India inks. And um, I have those too, but I've been wanting these. Oh, these caps have not been taken off, so... Oh my gosh, that was hard. Oh, that hurt. Okay, um, my arthritis. This one is Gamboge. This is kind of an orangey-yellow. Let me make sure this is cleared. Get all the color off of it. Yes. Wow, look at that color. And then the next one is, this one is Hansa Yellow. Hansa Yellow is always a lighter yellow, a bright yellow. Great for mixing greens, it's a cool yellow. You can see this is a warm yellow. And every primary color has a cool and a warm Val uh, temperature in their colors. Okay, white I think we can skip, although I do want to see what it looks like, so I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. It's going to be opaque, I'm sure. Oh yeah, it's very thick. There's the white. I don't know if you can even see that. And then next would be probably black. This is carbon black. <clears throat> but it is watercolor, not carbon black ink. Make sure I don't hit the white here. Black is very strong also. These colors, the, the pigments are, are just amazing. And here is, this is a brown. What is this? This is Venetian brown. It looks a lot like a warm sepia or a burnt umber. Probably more of a burnt umber color. Now this one, maybe I have too much water on. I'm going to try a little more color. It just doesn't seem to have the vibrancy as the others. Oh, maybe. I just didn't have enough on there. Okay. The next one is 
Um, it's a purple of some sort. This is cobalt violet. This is a redder purple, a warm purple. Wow, look at that pigment, you guys. This is amazing. I'm so excited. I can't wait to paint with them. Yay, yay. Okay, and this one is ultramarine. This is part of the reason I got set number one. It had most of the basic basic colors for watercolor in them, and I wanted that for painting purposes. But there are some really cool sets, and I might just have to get more. They're about... I think they're, well, right now they're on sale, or they have been on sale. They were on sale for $65. Now they're up to $70 on Amazon. That was a week or so ago. This is Thalo Blue. And actually, no, I got these through Blick. But Blick does sell on Amazon as well, so you can use your Amazon account to check out if you want, which is convenient for me. And that was Thalo. Yeah, Thalo Blue. This one is the last one. This one is Thalo Green. Oh, this should be really pretty. I like Thalo Green. It's a very cool blue-green. I got more water on this one. But very pretty. Now I wonder about mixing some of them together. What they would do. Let's see. How about I take a I'll take a um, cool red, this deep red rose and ultramarine, and then we'll make our own purple. I need a drop of red and a drop of blue. And I'm gonna try and mix it together on the paper. That's a very deep violet, blue violet. Very pretty. That was with deep red rose and ultramarine. Um, we can make some really cool oranges too, I'll bet. If I use a cool red like this rose and I use the, let's try the Hansi yellow. That should be really interesting. Let's see, I've got the red. And then a drop of yellow. Whoa! Actually, it's warmer than I expected. That rose is a warmer, warmer um, yellow or red. I mean, oh shoot! I got it on my. I was afraid that would happen. I got it on my um, bottle. A little bit went down inside. Got to be careful of that. Oh well, it's such a fine amount, I don't think it'll be noticeable. Nope, it disappeared, good. Um, <laughs> oh, what else? Um, we can make a green, different green. Instead of using this blue-green, we can use the ultramarine and the Hansi yellow, which I will put on first this time so that I don't screw up my... Blue, and I'm going to do it over here off of my palette. There's another blue-green. Very pretty. And we can try it with um, Gamboge, which is a warmer yellow. We'll see what happens with that. Um, let me put the yellow on first. And the blue. That's a good yellow, or I mean a good green. With the um, Gam New, New Gamboge, or Gamboge as they call it, and the ultramarine blue. Look at the difference in those greens. Very pretty. Um, I don't know, we could try another orange. Let's try this one. Oh, let's do this. Let's go with the magenta, quinacridone magenta. 
and gamboge and see what happens here. Rinse this brush out good. There's a little bit of yellow and a little bit of the magenta. That's a pretty orange. So you can make a lot of gorgeous colors with this, this set of, I think it's 12, right? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah, set of twelve. So there you have it. These are very strong pigments done with the water brush with a lot of water mixed in. And these pigments are off the charts, highly pigmented. So um, I'd recommend these. I'm going to go ahead and do a painting with them and we'll see what happens. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and leave me some comments down below of things you'd like to have reviewed or um, things you'd like me to do. Talk to you later.